Hi, my name is Patrick, scored 100% in CAT 6 tax. This basic video is to help you how to revise CAT questions. That's the basic idea of CAT con revision. So you've finished the syllabus and you want to revise, so maybe this is for you. So complete the syllabus, I want going to the next stage and I don't know what to do. Maybe this could help you. Or students who are looking at revising a topic that are not comfortable with. So that is one reason. Why revise? Because maybe if you have forgotten something that we have learned earlier and you want to review it. Or there is something important which you have marked earlier and we want to you know, review, review mark to review again. Some methods, some questions which you might have forgotten as in when you complete a syllabus. So that is the reason you revise. How to revise? One is you can go to the you know, notes, go back to the notes, pick up a few questions from the notes, maybe ideally a new question, not a question that you saw earlier. And just solve it. That will help you to refresh whatever you learn. So if you take a few questions on profit and loss, you will know what the profit and loss is and how to solve it. So mix questions from the topic could help. Or go to any important questions. You might have marked some questions that are important, which you feel you should go back to it once again. So maybe you can go through it and then mark it. So I'm not normally for this way of revision. But yes, if you feel there's a specific topic which you're not comfortable with, please do go back to a topic as far as possible. Okay, and, and when you are revising, it's always good to mark any questions that you feel you want to do it again. So some good method that you come across, maybe you'll forget later on, make sense to mark and revise it later on. Right. I am normally for revising with mixed questions. Okay, why mixed questions? So where I really solve mixed questions from the mocks. Okay, normally mocks are more or less representative of the actual cat. So they are type of questions also are from based on CAT. Also topics also similar. So maybe mocks are a good source. Why it's important? Because it ensures that you practice more from important topics. So when you solve mock questions, there will be more questions on topics which are more important in the CAT and less questions on topics which are less important. And uh, also the important concepts. So a lot, a lot of things in the notes. But in the mocks, you may not have all the things from the notes in the mocks. Purely because there are some concepts which are not important, which don't come in the CAT, so you don't have to worry about it. So you are practicing questions that are more relevant to CAT. Also, type of questions in the mocks are a little different from the type of questions in the mocks, in the notes. Notes, the questions are more concept driven. In the mocks, the questions are more to do with thinking, the way it comes in the CAT exam. So it makes sense to revise from the mock questions. Yes, when you're doing the mock questions, if you don't understand any specific concepts, you can go back to notes. No harm in doing that. You can go back to notes and revise those topics. But again, if you come back to any questions that you feel that I need to go to it later on, then mark it. Always mark questions that you have good methods to. By chance, if you forget the method, you can always come back and refer to that question and see how to solve it and then apply this method to other questions. Also, way to go about it is normally I say spend around 10 to 20 seconds on each question to find a difficult level. Because one important thing in the exam is to be able to identify difficult level of the question as fast as possible. So 10 to 20 question seconds per question. Next two minutes, try to solve the question ideally without pen. The moment you solve without pen, you try to get better methods and you understand some better. Try doing this. I mean, this is an optional step. But if you feel you're good at maths, I think you should try this step. It helps. After that, solve it normally with pen. If you get the answer for the second step, you can leave this third step. But if you don't get the answer, then solve normally with pen. It will take you less than five minutes. If it takes more than five minutes, then directly go to the solution. Not more than five minutes per question. Then go to the solution and check for better method. Okay. Once you finish that, then go to the solution, check for better methods, and go back and check if you can solve in a better method. Okay, so if the solution doesn't have a better method or you feel you can get a better method by going back to it, go back and check can I solve it in any better way than what it is done. Once you've gone this, what you can do is, uh, as I said, for every sum that you solve, either from the notes or the mocks, try to see if you can get better method. It's not important how many questions you solve, it's important to develop a thinking process to get good ways of solving. Try and discuss sums with your friends. So maybe they have a different thinking process. Maybe they will help you out. Try to do that. Take help from them and try to, uh, you know, clear your doubts or get better methods from them. Also, any good methods that you come across, 
Now, good methods are not that can be used for one specific question. Good methods are some which can be used for many questions, like using options, substituting values. Then write it down and try to use that methods in different sums that you come across. Right? I hope this will help you to understand how to go about revising your con section. Thank you.